Hi, my name is C.C. Arshagra, and I am making an example of a free speech individual contribution to the human room open voice. So basically, here is an example. Let's say that I am an individual who lives in a country or in a city or in a town or a village, and water is for sale. And there are a million people there drinking water, but a glass of water costs $1. So whoever is selling the water, for every time a million people drink a glass of water, the profiteer of the water supply makes $1 million in exchange for the water minus the cost of the distribution, of course. So that's $1 million. Now, what if I decide to charge $3 for a glass of water, knowing that no half of the population of that village, town, or city, or whatever, uh, does not have that kind of money. So they are going to starve. And the other half are going to hear that half the people are, are, are dying of thirst, not starve, they're dying of thirst. Of course, this could apply to food, if you like, or any situation at all. So as an individual, I have the right to say something about this. And this would be an example. You could do this for any circumstance whatsoever that you'd like. You don't have to write a poem about it or a song about it or do a painting about it, or talk about your art form, or your medium, or your nonprofit, or your community group, which you can do all of the above. But you could also, in this case, simply speak your mind, but your contribution needs to be benevolent. What does that mean? So if I am selling you the water, back to my example, uh, I will now make 50, five, half a million dollars times three. So I will make a million and a half dollar, dollars a day, but I have to make sure that they're willing to pay that because there's a half a million people dying of thirst, which will be the motivation for me to make more money selling that to you because I control the water supply. So the individual who is dying of thirst while they're dying of thirst has a voice and can say something. And this would be a benevolent contribution. I would like to say something that I think it's wrong, that I am dying of thirst simply to motivate a half a million people who now have to pay three times the amount they paid the day before just so they won't die of thirst. And there's something wrong with that. Ultimately, it would be ideal if I also came up with a solution saying, I think there should be a law preventing that kind of abuse of power that kind of control of supply and demand simply to drive up the profit where the only motivation is a handful of people get to make an extra half a million dollars per glass of water per individual per day if everyone drinks one glass of water a day in this example. So that is simply one example. It might not be a good one. Hopefully you have one much better that also contains a solution that, it, that, that uh, dismantles the corruption that is part of the system that allows such a thing to happen. And this would be one example. Please create your own free speech individual. And all you got to do is name, email address, read the nine principles of involvement, and that's it. It's a one-time process. And then you simply send that or just show up at one of the meetings that happened just like an open microphone poetry reading. And you, you show up and you have your moments and you, and you speak your mind and say, this is my con. And if you don't like it or whatever, you could say that uh, I would like that to be uh, my, my contribution to humanity. Transcendent of malevolent reality. Benevolence is the essence of this concept and it's inside the nine principles of involvement. I as an individual who's creating this artwork to give away a, a social media platform that is a living work of art. You don't have to understand that right now because it's over a year and a half in the making and it's got a little ways to go. It's a large vision, but it doesn't exist on earth. A free speech platform of, for, and by the people does not exist. So I'm going to take my time and little by little until it is uh, built to the point where it is a self-sustaining system. Now that sounds like a large tall order, but it's better than giving up on humankind and surrendering our species 
to uh, oligarchs or whatever you want to call them, who basically enslave us and our realities and our beliefs and turn human against human and force us to live in inhumanity or surrender to AI or whatever else is going on with who controls information and reality. I, I happen to coin the phrase reality slavers. I think we should do something about becoming aware of our reality slavers, becoming aware of how we participate in creating these types of individuals amongst us as a human family on earth and dismantling the systems that, that they control that create the realities we live in and the systems that we live in, uh, including belief systems and countries and nations and laws and rules and these manifestors of war, all profiteers, simply to keep power within their domain uh, and not let it, and not let people uh, be aware that it could end because they're simply people. Thank you.